Hi and welcome to the Photoshop shop. Today we're going to show you how to add our wing overlay to your subject. In this particular situation we're going to use our angel wings but the same application or technique will work with butterfly wings or fairy wings, um, any, anything like that. So let's get started. First thing you'll want to do is go ahead and open your image. Then you'll want to go up to File, Place Embedded, and then on your computer you'll be able to select which set of wings that you want to use. We're going to go ahead and use the angel wings. So go ahead and select them and click Place. Now what you want to do is go ahead and adjust these to be centered on your subject's spine. And since our subject is kind of sitting on an angle, we're going to make this side of the wings just slightly smaller. I'm going to right click, click Distort, and just drag this side down a little bit and this side up a little bit just to make the side a little bit smaller. And then we'll reposition and we'll go ahead and click Enter and that will go ahead and place the wings that have now been altered and you'll notice that Photoshop went ahead and made a separate layer and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go down here and we're going to select add a layer mask and now the layer mask is selected with the brackets and it has a white background so to erase something we're going to go ahead and have black as our foreground color we're going to go up here and select our brush and then we're, I'm going to select about a size 200 for this particular um, subject to remove the wings. And since I have a hard time seeing through the wings, I'm going to go back over here while having the layer mask selected and just crank down the opacity to around 40% or so. That way I can see through the wings to see where the actual wings are, but I can see the subject clearly underneath. So let's go ahead and get started. We'll zoom in and I'm going to do a very, very rough selection. And you'll also notice since I'm deleting all of the wings in, in this uh, particular situation, I have the opacity set at 100. So let's go ahead and we're going to delete these wings and get kind of close to the hair there and we'll delete this side and we'll get into the hair oops a little bit there and we're going to change and make the brush to a much harder tip so that we can really select this right to the edge and have a nice strong line there and then we have the flowers. We'll take this out a little bit. And like I said, if you were going to do this for a client, um, you would definitely want to do this a much cleaner selection and take a lot more time. But for right now, just for purposes of showing you guys how to do it, I'm going to do it real quick. And let's go ahead and go back to the opacity. Move it back up. Oh, that's very, very crude. Let's move it back down. I forgot a little bit here and I'm gonna make the I'm gonna use my bracket key the left bracket key I'm gonna zoom back in take some of these flowers out a little bit just to make it a little bit nicer representation here like I said this is a very very crude selection okay Let's go back, check the opacity, move that back up. Much better, much, much better. And what I would also suggest is when you are using wings, think about the light and think about the direction of the light. And since you can tell the direction of the light is coming from the front of the subject, I'm going to go ahead and add just a little bit of shadow behind her because her shoulders and back would be casting a little bit of a shadow onto the wings. So you'll want to go ahead and not have the mask selected. Go ahead and actually select the wings and you'll know it's selected when the bracket keys are on the actual image. And then go over and I'm going to just select my burn tool and I'm going to go up here and make my brush size about a thousand and the hardness I'm just going to leave real soft 
and when you click on to actually add the shading it's going to ask if it can rasterize the smart object which means you will not be able to edit it afterwards but since I've already technically finished my selection um, and deleting using the layer mask I'm going to go ahead and hit OK and I'm going to just add a little bit of depth behind her for a shadow I'm going to make that just a little bit smaller and add a little bit of a shadow on this side and there you go that's how easy it is to add wings I'm using an overlay in Photoshop I hope you guys have liked this episode and we'll see you next time at the Photoshop shop.